Yeah, so this so far is my car, her car. This is our, you know, our, our tent, our, our area. Um, all the guys come in here, as you can see right now, uh, Matt and the guys, uh, Matt's actually the head designer. So Matt designs all the, all the Camel cars. Um, he's the one that actually designed the very first IFS Ultra 4 car, nice. which was Shannon's car in 2009. Sure. Um, so he's the one that came from Desert Racing and then built something that we're now all basing off of. Wow. Um, so they're working on Shannon's car right now. Um, Shannon's been racing this car for, how long has Shannon been racing this car, Brian? Brian? Uh, this car, 2015. 2015, so this is Ryan Miller. Miller's actually uh, gonna be racing Bailey's car. So Miller's normally Bailey's co-driver. Co-driver. So he's taken over. Um, so that car was 2015. We just put a new back end on it. Um, and right now they're just putting in a new uniball. So you can see, you know, prep never stops. Yep. Prep never stops. It's always, always constant. Um, Waylon's over there polishing his thing up. But you saw my car was naked over there. Yep. This is what they look like when they're fully dressed. Yep. Um, you know, they do a really cool job with getting body lines, you know. The unfortunate side of this is, is uh, Waylon's polishing this body right now. He will not have this body on by the end of the race. <laughs> yeah, I heard that this year that uh, these things are gonna come back pretty naked and beat up. Yeah, I don't I don't see one of these cars coming back with panels on it. Yeah. So this is this is some of the stuff that you're gonna start learning oh is God. you're gonna need all these parts. <laughs> right. You know, we come in here, they have a they have a semi truck for for their entire team. Um, you can see we got, you know, everything from, from all our fluids, brake fluid to to transmission oil to gear oil, um, to spare front axle shafts. Um, spare third members. Um, you know, we have spare transmissions down there. We've got uh, uh, spare A arms. Everything. So, if you're going to start racing like you want to, um, whether it be a Toyota, a Samurai, a Jeep, whatever, you're going to need. You got to have spare parts. Spare you got to have your tools. You got to have someone to pit that's, with. And that's one of the the biggest things of logistics is getting all the spare parts together and yeah. knowing where they are and. Even you guys have some spare parts on your cars, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually we carry uh, uh, spare power steering pumps, things that go that normally go. Um, we don't necessarily carry spare drive lines, even though we probably should. Um, but you know, we carry lines, uh, power steering lines, uh, belts, uh, pumps, uh, alternators, etc. Yeah, and you so, guys even have zip ties like strategically placed around right, the vehicle yeah, just tape. in case. So there's, and... there's a lot of little things that you can learn. Yeah. But Absolutely. This is definitely something if you if you want to start racing, you got to start taking into account for what you're going to need um, to continue racing while you're yeah. out here for two weeks. Yeah. Two. Yep. So on the lake bed. On the lake bed in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to scramble for parts. <laughs> yeah. But again, everyone is a family, so if someone doesn't maybe have it in their camp, someone else will. But there is one thing in here I want to show you. Yeah. It's right behind it. <laughs> oh yeah. There's yeah. a. There, there is a there is something there. Um, There's some hardware here already. Yeah, luckily, from this week. Luckily, we already won something. So uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, get involved with you for for the class 11 race. And yeah, you ended up sponsoring the class 11 for us. Whoa! Get the heck out of the way! <laughs> yeah, I remember and, when you uh, came and you're like, I'm getting this class 11. They're doing them this year, and I was like, Okay, well, <laughs> what does that even look like? And you go down to Mexico and pick yeah. up a car and. So yeah, we ended up uh, not having any seat time and then never even driving the thing and we ended up getting second place in it, so. So I've got Mr. Brian Cross. How are you doing, buddy? Second place? It looks like you and Waylon had some fun. Yeah, we had a great time. We only had five minutes in this car, so it was a learning experience and a lot of fun. It was awesome, man. I, I gotta say, coming out here for, you know, seven years or so, um, that was one of the funnest times at, at KOH that Actually, I've seen. Actually, I think that's what you should race. <laughs> that would be pretty Get fun. Rid of, don't even think about a 45, 46 car. Get a bug. Right. And just race a, race a class of life. That <laughs> right. would be more fun you, than anything. You prep it once for the year and you're <laughs> yeah. good to go. Yeah. Maybe some body panels yeah. after the races. Uh, I mean, you might even be able to get Bobby in it. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. That'd be, uh, that'd be amazing. Off the grid, they're the official uh, Ultra 4 clothing company. So uh, they're on there. Well, Brian, always fun to chat with you. Congratulations, unofficially second place, but you got a lot of uh, work on your plate. So uh, have fun. We'll see you later this week. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for all the Campbell folks. Um, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be up here because they uh, they helped get the car ready.